Hello everyone, happy to see you here and today we have a really interesting math problem. So we need to solve this for n and m, so we need to find integer solution to this problem. Maybe a lot of students feel the answers, they know the answer by inspection, but in this video I'm going to show you how can we solve it, because in math we are interested in solution, like from, from the top to the bottom of the paper we need to solve it, and it's not like inspection, so we write m and n equal to, and this is like two lines, we need to solve it, so this is a mess, yeah? Let's start to solve it. First of all, I want to mention one really interesting moment, yeah? So right here we have a positive value, yeah, 4080, and as a result m is greater than n. This is one really interesting moment, and I want to mention this moment right now. So this expression is greater than this one, because for example, take a look, if first power, so 2 to the fourth, for example, minus 2 cube, yeah, as a result we will have like 16 minus 8, which is positive 1, which is positive 1. And when we have like 2 cube minus 2 to the fourth, we will have like 8 minus 16, which is equal to minus 8, which is negative 1. In our case, we have the positive expression on the right hand side. So as a result, m is greater than n. This is the first really interesting moment. I want to mention this, this moment right now. And the next thing, let's factor from this expression, let's factor 2 to the n, yeah? If we factor 2 to the n, in parentheses we will have like 2 to the power m minus n, yeah, and minus minus 1, equal to 4080, okay? So we just factor 2 to the n, from here we need to subtract this power because we factor it, and right here 1 because we factor the same expression right here, yeah? Okay, what we're we going to do next? Let's substitute this m minus n, for example, as a t, yeah? So we will have like 2 to the power n, times 2 to the power t minus 1 and equal to 4080. This is a little bit easier for us to change this m minus n as a t. Okay, and right now, really interesting moment. 2 to the n, we know because this is like every time even number. 2 to the 10th, 2 to the power 11, 12, 13, this is all time even number, so this is even. 2 to the power t, this is the same as 2 to the n, this is even number, yeah? But when we subtract from this even number 1, we will have like odd number, yeah? So odd number. And 4080, this is even number, yeah? So I hope you understand this step. Even number all the time, all the time this is odd number because 2 to the t even number, when we subtract, for example, from even number, doesn't matter, for example, like 56, if you subtract 1, we will have like 55, which is all the time odd number. And right here, even number. Okay, when you factor this, you need to work with this your with this number. So 4080, what can we say about this number? Let's try to factor it. Okay, let's divide by 2. We can easily divide it because this is 0 on the in the end. So dividing by 2, 2040. Dividing by 2, we can easily divide it once more, 1020. Dividing by 2, 510. Dividing by 2, 255, yeah? This is odd number, so we cannot divide it by 2. So as a result, we can easily write this 2 to the n times 2 to the power t minus 1 equal to this 4080, we can easily write it as 255 times 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2 to the 4th power, yeah? 2 to the 4th. And right now, let's change this 4080 in, as, in this way. So 2 to the 4th times 255. Yeah, so we can easily write it in this way. What we're we going to do next? Take a look on the left hand side and on the right hand side. It could, it is the product of two elements, so this one and this one and this one and this expression in parentheses. And if we look closely, we have the same element with 2, yeah, we have 2 to the power n, and right here 2 to the 4th. So this is one and only case when n equal to 4. So from here we can easily write that our n equal to 4. This is really great. Okay, what are we going to do next? 2 to the power t minus 1, we still have this, and we still have 255. So one and only case this equation will have a solution when 2 to the power t minus 1 equal to 255, yeah? How can we solve it? This is like maybe the, the easiest exponential equation because we bring this 1 right here or add on both sides, so 2 to the power t equal to 256, yeah? 256, and as a result, t equal to t 
50 equal to 8, because 2 to the 8th power equal to 256, which is really great. t equal to 8. Okay, t equal to 8, n equal to 4, but we need to find our m. But m minus n equal to t. Let's write this equation, m minus n equal to t. We know t equal to 8, so right here equal, n equal to 4, minus 4, m minus 4 equal to 8. So from here, m equal to 12, which is really great. We solve this equation. So our answer, our answer, m equal to 12 and n equal to 4. And a lot of students can solve it by inspection. So this may be the main problem right here because they say, okay, we can solve it by inspection, but math teacher, mathematicians interested in the solution because you cannot like write two lines, m equal to 12, n equal to 4. You need to write a solution to this problem. And of course, this video is about a solution to this problem. So if you can solve it by inspection, this is really great. You can check your answer in the end of the video, but every mathematician, every lecturer want a solution to this problem. So this is a solution. This is the answer. And I hope you, you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And write a question, write your suggestion about this question. What do you think about this question? It will be really interesting to read about it. Thank you and have a great day.